Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full face full of my mini makeup products. So right here, I have a little box. Inside are a bunch of goodies. And these are what I'm be using on my face today. I'm making an exception of a few things like powder. I don't have any mini powder powders. And I have this mini eyeshadow palette that's full of like really bright green colors. So I'm using another color to kind of um other other color other palette to use that has more neutral tones in it. So I can dip into here if I need to for transition shades. Or whatnot so that's the deal here today um i'll make sure to link the full size products of all these products down below and we should just like get right into it so today first i have primer i have two primers here i wasn't sure which ones i would rather use um this is the kismet pure vitamin d primer this is not the full size. These are minis, like I said. Um, that's what that one looks like. The glittery. And then I have the Benefit, the Pore Professional Hydrating Primers. So, I think I probably will just use both of these. I'll probably go with this all over my face and this in my T-zone. So, I think that's what we're going to do for that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and squirt it my fingers this has a very silicone um like feel to it it's really weird i don't know how to explain it other than that my skin is so freaking oily like i'll wash my face and not even an hour later like i'll have significant amount of oils on my face like it's not even funny my mom had really oily skin when she was little but now she's nice and dry, so I would love if it was normal. I would hate to have dry skin because you have to be constantly hydrating it. And, like, I don't want those nasty dry spots on my face. So I would rather have this nice, natural, like, normal skin. But we know that can't happen. So we're going to go... In with that and then going to just go in with the little mini of the hydrating professional in my t-zone like right in here and I'm probably some my chin too I count my t-zone as my forehead and my chin I know some people just do like nose and like pores but I have large pores on all areas of my face so I'm just gonna go ahead in here too I'm going to put this to the test, see if I like it better than the e.l.f. putty primer that I used. Um, I'm going to hope not because this is more expensive and don't really want to spend that much money. But I think it did a good job blurring my pores. And since that other primer that I didn't know was also silicone based, probably helped with that too. So, love that. Um, this primer has glitter in it. Which not the biggest fan of but you know we can work with it and i don't have any mini foundations so i have a mini uh cc cream that i'm gonna be using which i think will do it's one i haven't tried yet i got it in my ipsy last month and there is gonna be another ipsy haul coming soon um i just got the notification that it's shit guys i'm back sorry my storage is full don't know how i have like 64 grams of storage on there somehow i've used up all of it um i've gone back and deleted like tons of stuff but anyway we're just gonna keep moving on so like i said i don't have a full size foundation but i have a full size cc cream i haven't tried this yet i got this in my latest ipsy and this is the peerless don't know Youth Glow Vitamin C CC Cream with SPF 50, Vitamin C, and Hyaluronic Acid. It's um, color correcting, brightening, and age defying. So, I haven't tried this before. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with this on my face. I'm going to go wet my beauty, my sponge, and I'll be back. 
Okay, wet my sponge. Just gonna go over my face with that. Kind of press all that primer in and whatnot. All right, good deal, yo. So, I have to also mention that I don't have a concealer, a mini concealer. So, I guess I'm gonna have to use one of those too. Lovely, right? Okay, going on with this. Um, oh look, cover still on it. Take this off. Probably gonna go on back of my hair. I'm not sure if this is my shade or not. So. Okay. Maybe I can make this work. Um, I'm gonna have to bring down my neck some because it's a little light. But I'm just gonna go in and see here. I don't want too much because I hate like feeling cakey and like I have so much weight on my face that's like not needed. Okay, so I'm just going in with this little mini CC cream. Um, so first impressions, um, shade, pretty good. Um, then again, I have, don't have to be that worried about it because it's a CC cream. So the cover isn't going to be significant. So pigment isn't going to be either, but you don't want it to be, a like the darkest shade and you have very light complexion like I do. You want it to match your skin, but it doesn't have to be so spot on. So as you see, it's giving me a nice glow. It's very dewy um not usually like what i prefer because of my extremely oily skin like i had said before but we're just gonna keep going in with it it is giving me coverage from you can tell the difference from like my hair to my nose and my forehead um so that's good so overall this feels really nice and light on my skin um i have a little bit left on my hand so i'm gonna go in dotted on the places i think i need more coverage like probably i mean this looks so flawless on my skin can you guys tell like these lights there now you can see it looks so flawless on my skin my skin i have been breaking out lately not really sure why um actually i do know why um i tried out this new pore filling primer from rite aid beauty rite aid first aid beauty and my skin does not like it i've tried it so many times now and i break out every dang time i try to use it it's so bad and i want to love it because it's like a good brand and they sell it at tj maxx and it's like kind of high end and kind of not but they sell it at tj maxx and i was like oh that'd be great if i love it i can go to tj maxx and get it i'm gonna look at how glowy i am i just can't get over how dewy i am i was like oh if i love it like i know where they sell it would be great but it breaks me out like breaks me out like i don't know why like i thought right aid beauty why do i keep saying right aid first aid beauty was supposed to be like good and healthy for your skin but my skin does not like that stuff at all it like despise it it is like do not put that on your face so I forgot to mention, but I don't have a small concealer either, so I'm just going in with Shape Tape. Um, not going to do too much, because I'm not vibing with that lately. Like, the last makeup tutorial I did was horrific, and I did the full face on my cheapest makeup products, and I was completely right with that Wet n Wild foundation. Um, absolutely horrible. It made me break out so bad, and it, like, was so, like, cracky. Like, you saw that it oxidized in that video and everything it was so bad like i had that crap for too long like i still have it why i haven't thrown it out i don't know why jean why have you not thrown this out but yeah this stuff is like when it truly it truly says like the little jar that tells you when the stuff expires like stick by that because otherwise like i don't know if you can see it but the little thing down there says 18 months the little jar 
it says 18 months on it truly stick to that i'll probably have it for like two years none of these things say 40 months on it so don't use a foundation or concealer or anything that's been in your drawer for more than two months i should say more than two months jane you are literally tripping yourself out you it's been two years don't use anything that you've had in there for over a year like it's bad like you're not gonna get anywhere with that so i'm bringing this concealer on my eyelids because i don't have a mini eyeshadow primer here with me today so that's gonna be what my um what my primer is gonna be i really am debating if i want to go in with this cute beauty sh shadow it's called the emerald obsessions palette and i got this in my ipstick for like signing up for like i don't know or who the heck knows maybe it was for like being a part of ipsy for a whole year or something i don't know but um it's it's staring has very bright colors like honestly there's only like three of those green shades but like the dark and like cool tone cool tones are not my jam i might go and maybe i'll go with that like in the under eye and maybe that on the inner corner just to give it like a little something and i'll go in with more neutral on the eyes because i'm not feeling a big heavy eye look today at all it seems like my worst enemy because i hate having to take that off um i hate doing my makeup only because i have to take it off like literally that's why i hate it like if i could sit here and wear makeup all day i would be fine but like i can't stand it like i'm when i'm when you're in quarantine for almost seven months now i'm trying this cream blush cream blush that i've never tried before it is by beauty tino beauty tino it's a really complex name i don't know and it's a blush serum. It says nerdy, nourishing water-based cheek and lip color. And this is in shade. I don't know. Color the cap though. So it should be a pretty uh, peachy color. I think I tried this a while ago. And it's kind of like a moussey consistency. Yeah. Well, I squeezed a lot out. Oh, it's in shade Sunset. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let me back in. Okay. Putting that back on. I um, haven't powdered yet because I want to do this first. I'm just going to take it on my finger. Put it on my cheeks where I want it. So, this, as you can see, is going to be a really pretty blushy color. I'm just going to blend it in and see what the deal is. Because... Um... I just want to see how pigmented it is because if it's going to be really pigmented i'm not going to put as much on as i thought but it's blending out good but i want more coverage so i'm gonna go ahead want a little more so it's like i said it's a very really moussey consistency it's a gorgeous color love how much of a blush this is giving me um and I have a powder blush that I think is going to go good with this color as well. So, love that. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, I don't know about you, but I like taking blush on my nose as well. This pick kind of like feels weird if it's kind of just like on your cheeks and doesn't ever flow across right. So, this gives you really good pigment. As you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and even it out on this side. So, I put more on... This side, my nose is itchy. I swear, like my skin is so sensitive, it's horrible. I feel like no matter what I freaking do, I just can't win with makeup because um, I just feel like no matter what it is, I always break out or I always get itchy and I always like feel like I have this like itching that you know, so that's why I never wear makeup all the time. Like I wear mascara pretty much every day, but like putting a full face of makeup on for me it's just not comfortable so yes i'm just putting some of this just kind of pushing it in with this blush brush that i love from wet and wild don't even know what brush this is got it so long ago love it though it fits so well in my cheek area that i just love it so now i'm going to go into my powder I have the halo glow from elf and i love this stuff um like i said i don't have a mini of a powder so um i can't dip into that i used to have a mini of an tart powder um from a while ago and um 
I used that up so fast because I liked it so much. And when I went to go order new, I was like, oh, this is too expensive. So that's what happened with that. So I'm just going ahead and I put powder everywhere because I'm so oily all the time. I powder the up and I live in North Carolina and my face, um, the humidity outside, horrific. Hate it so much. Um, I don't know if I'm complaining so much this video and I'm like, oh my God, I can't talk. I'm so horrible. But um, you go to California and there's no humidity. I went there last year. I vlogged it. Um, I can link the vlog down below. Beautiful. My hair looked good every single freaking day in that place. And then you get here and it's like, no. And it like poofs up and like, I don't have curly hair. My mom has extremely curly hair. Um, and I don't. We left on September 18th of 2019. So when the date hit this year and I was like, God, we can't go anywhere. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back and just rewatch that video just to feel like I'm back in California again. And I love being able to keep those memories even if I never go anywhere on YouTube I just love that I can go back and watch and just watch my success grow and I just feel like I've grown so much from my very first video and editing to now like my my friend at the time edited that and um I was kind of like okay like I'll hire her to be my editor um and she's like, okay, I'll do it for free as long as you, like, mention me in your comments. And I was like, she wants, she doesn't want to actually help me. You know, like, I didn't like that. So, I was like, okay, no, I can figure this out myself. So, anyways, I'm done with my powder now. You can see that it definitely, um, mattified my face a little bit. Like, it's so shiny right here. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lordy. Um, so shiny right there. Don't know why. Okay, moving on. So I'm gonna go and set the the cream blush that I did with this blush from Douce, Douce Cosmetics, and this is in shade Daydream, and I like the shade a lot. I think it's gonna go good with the cream blush. It's definitely more cool toned and not as um bright as that. Oh, it's like really pigmented. I didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented. Well. We're gonna be blushy today. Not a bad thing. Let's go over with my powder brush. Kind of go ahead and like pat that in. It's like so bright. Oh my god. So next. I really like how this is going so far. I think my skin looks pretty good. Um, Next we're gonna go in with bronzer and then highlighter. So... I am not sure if this is a highlighter or if it's a, like, eyeshadow, but I think I could use it as both, so we're going to go with it. So, I don't know what size it is, but I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Chocolate's probably a little too deep for me right now. I'd probably go more milk chocolate if I was picking the shade out myself right now, but I'm not, so you got to get what you get. Um, I'm, like, trying to blend out my blush. A little more um but i absolutely love these morphe brushes i got them for my birthday last year and i love them and they're amazing um i use every single one of them as equally as the other the only one i don't use as much is probably the other one like this here right here this i use it for bronzer sometimes honestly i love this brush for bronzer i can get a really precise bronze and then honestly go in with this and brush it out but i think i'm instead of doing it really precisely i'm gonna do it with this brush today because i have been experimenting with it more and have been liking it more so this is what it looks like go dip it in probably a lot i'm going in with the, another morphe brush into this the bomb cosmetics auto bomb dynamite it says shadows but like honestly can use that as a highlighter that's gorgeous so i'm just gonna go dip in did i not get any on okay getting there um so saying that this is shadow is a stretch i would not put this on your eyes um, I like that it's giving me a little bit of a glow on my cheeks, but don't know why you would ever want to put it 
on your eyes maybe it performs better with either a different brush or your finger is my guess um little sheer from my liking maybe because i just can't pick that much up on my brush because of the pan size but i mean that's what you're getting when you're going with the mini so so that really didn't give me the glow i wanted so i'm gonna go in into i'm going into this scene from the space cosmetics highlighter and shade scene from space um i like this one a lot i've used it quite a bit shades really pretty and maybe there we go it's gonna give me a little bit better of a glow and it says the shade is so cute it's called scene from space like look at that like you could see me from space sis like this shade name is so cute um i love it I'm gonna go on the brow bone in my chin oh my god I'm like i'm so much blush on my face i literally can't even take myself seriously right now so that's that. Probably gonna go and blend that all together just to give it a little bit more of a seamless look. I blend, 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 blend. So, so this is where we're at. I'm going and comb through my eyebrows. Like I've said before, don't do much with my eyebrows at all. I was blessed with nice, beautiful brows. Looks like it wasn't meant to be today, so ain't going there. So next, I guess we're going to go into the eyes. So I'm going to go in with my sponge, just kind of go over. And by the way, this is the Real Technique sponge. I'm obsessed with this. Um, I've never ever owned any other sponge but this and like some sponges from TJ Maxx. This is my favorite. Um, I heard a lot of people talking about the Haley's one that I'm going to tr try to order. But the last time I checked was out of stock. And beauty blenders are 20 bucks. So expensive for a sponge. Would never spend that much money ever. Alright guys, so I'm back and I finished the other eye off camera. So now I'm going to go in with eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with my Essence extreme lasting eye pencil waterproof and silky nude going and just wall and line my waterline there like that makes your eyes brighten up so freaking crazy it's insane so then i'm gonna go in with my essence lash princess mascara on the bottom eyelashes oh wait i have to use minis today <gasps> i forgot I'm going to go in with the They Are Real Lashes from Benefit on the bottom. So, I don't have any, like, really thin main ones. I have this one from Thrive, and I love this, but it's, like, empty. Give them a good little coat. I prefer my Lash Princess one over this for sure. Um, especially those They Are Real one. Um, a very liquidy large brush not made for bottom eyelashes whatsoever would not recommend that for your bottom eyelashes but now i'm gonna give them a good little curl roux and see if these lashes even hold their curl because my lashes are so picky about what the f gets put on them after they're curled so brush through them with my comb um and then i think i'm gonna either go in with the milk uh, Kush Mascara or the Joa Lash Up Rising Lengthening Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. I might go with a mixture of both. I tried this the other day on my bare lashes without curling them. Lovely. Love that. This stuff has not curled my lashes before, so maybe I'll go in with the Joa one. Go ahead and just give them a curl. So I'm just going to pump it a little bit, give them a curl. And then go with this gel one. I got this with a sample for getting press on nails from Kiss. So it must be a sister brand. Brush looks good. The real question is, is it good or how my curl? Don't know. So really, really super duper fast. I'm going in with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. To just separate. See, lash is already falling. Hate that. Eyelashes are so picky. <sighs> well, 
I curled them here and I didn't even curl my lashes here. Um, not a big difference at all. My eyelashes fell right back down, which is so aggravating and I hate it when it happens. But that's just how my lashes are. I don't have a liner for my lips today. I'm just going in with this. The Balm Cosmetics Balm Jur Creamy Lip Stain. Don't know what shade it's in. Pretty nude color though. Just to give me a little bit of color. So this is the completed look today. Um, I think it turned out really well. I love the face and the eyes. Definitely love those. Lips look great too. Um, the mascara was a fail. Um, let's see if I can go and put some of this milk one over it. See what happens. So I went ahead and did that. This side looks a little better. This actually looks pretty good. I think that helped maybe a little bit make it more lava boom, but not getting much of nowhere with that. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the finished look. I think it turned out well. Make sure to comment down below what you'd like to see next. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,